God, you have not missed anything. What God spoke over you is yet to come. It has an appointed date. It has an appointed time. Let me let you know something again, child of God. I'm reminding you, it's not over. You haven't missed anything. For somebody, you may feel like maybe what God said about me or what he wants to do, the time has already passed. I must have done something because that's how some of you are feeling in this hour. And I'm here to give you a word of assurance and reassurance and confirmation and confidence and hope in God. It hasn't passed you by. It's coming. What God said, what God prophesied, what God spoke, that seed that he sowed into your spirit of what he wants to do in your life is for an appointed time. And guess what? Your appointed time and your beautiful time in accordance with God's word is upon you in Jesus' mighty name. The devil can come in and sow in those seeds of, of lies and tell you, well, it was supposed to take place three months ago. It's already passed. You messed up. You did something. You gossiped or whatever. Listen, as long as you have a repentant spirit and you go to the Father, it doesn't just stop God from blessing you, right? God doesn't repent of his blessings. Praise the Lord. He's merciful and he's loving, right? His mercies are new every morning, says the Lord God Almighty. And Jesus is that mercy. If if there was no Jesus, because that's our faith, right? If there was no Jesus, then that's when you can start getting scared. Like, oh, okay, I feel like I've, I've lost everything. No, Jesus is the mercy of God. That's why you have to keep calling upon the name and praying in the name of Jesus Christ and pleading the blood of Jesus Christ whenever you mess up. So don't believe the lies of the enemy that something that God should have you know, sent you away has, has, has already passed you by. No, it hasn't passed you by. I'm here to tell you right now, you haven't missed out on anything. It hasn't passed you by. It's coming. God sometimes just allows this period to just lapse, to just go, you know, go by while, you know, while it feels to us like, oh, delay or you know we've already missed something no he allows it for a reason he's working on you he's working on you allow him to do his work and trust in him don't lean on to your understanding keep trusting keep believing in god he's not a man that he should lie in jesus mighty name let's pray father god thank you for this word and thank you for your child listen to me right now i pray for my brother i pray for my sister in christ that you will bless them oh lord at their appointed time you make all things beautiful in your time lord when it is their time lord let no, no plan of the enemy come to pass, Lord. Let everything that you have spoken over these ones, let it come to pass in Jesus' mighty name. Let it come to pass in their life. Let, let, let them come to, to, um, to being partakers, Lord. To being people that will come to experiencing the blessing, Heavenly Father. Whatever area of their life that you have spoken over, Lord, may they come to see in that moment, Lord God. Bring them into their kairos, Heavenly Father. Have mercy upon them. Forgive them, Father God, and heal their hearts and heal their lungs. Save them and they shall be saved, Lord. And just deliver them, Lord, from whatever they may be going through, Heavenly Father. And turn every hopelessness once again into a fullness of faith in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father God, for your word. I bless your name. We glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen and amen. Remember, you've not missed out on anything. Trust the Lord is coming through for you. It may feel like a long while, but the long while will pay off because God said in his word again, 1 Peter 5.10. After you have suffered a while, don't worry. After the, a while has come to an end, be sure that God will restore, perfect you, and settle you, and establish you in Jesus' name. Be mightily blessed. Shalom.